video, chapter number three. Reaction chapter is Reaction. really, really. Nah, but he's playing the streets. But his decision didn't. And he was. Like, I just stopped flowing with it. I just the same it. way you. So from every loss, also from every action. If I think of failing, I'm getting on a high frequency. When I'm enthused in your life, so what do you want out of life? And start thinking in that frequency. Let's get it. We're on video. Chapter number three. Reaction versus action. Action versus reaction. Doesn't matter how you look at it, but let's just jump right in. Ladies and gentlemen, my sea turtle readers, my sea turtle mindset readers. Let's go. Let's grow. Um, let's see what we're talking about. Okay. <clears throat> Boom. So. Bob Proctor teaches has vibration frequency as much as the past. Clear is a book. Okay, so this chapter is really, really interesting. And the reason why, so now at the gates of the Penal, Panama, Panama Canal, right? Penal, that's not even a word. Anyways, at the gates of the Pan Panama Canal, Nori had no idea what was on the other side. He just knew he had to go in. So he's going in, right? And He's waiting at the at the gates. He's like, how are these things gonna open? He just thought it was a straight shot. Like I said, plans change. He thought it was gonna be a straight shot, but he's playing strange, but his decision didn't, and he was gonna go through it. So he goes in, he waits, and he waits for a boat, a steamboat. And when he waits for the steamboat, the steamboat goes forward, the gates open, they flush out. He didn't know, smacks him in the face, tumbles back down, and he's like, oh wow, I gotta catch up. So he catches up, okay? In here, it says, emotion is like, is energy in motion, and energy flows where attention goes, okay? What you focus, that's where your energy goes. That's where your attention goes. Every day, the ocean produces massive amounts of energy, okay? This energy is always in constant motion. So when people say, John, when's enough gonna be enough? Get, listen, does the ocean stop? No, it does not. So I'm like the water. I'm constantly in motion, okay? When I'm in motion, I get, I get this, I get this flow going, you know, and when I'm in the flow, I'm grooving, I'm in the pocket, so I play the, I play the, I play the drums, right, and then when I, when I get in the pocket, I just stop flowing with it, I just let it be, and everything just comes, and I'm just in it, in the zone, so be in motion, because then it starts to break barriers, okay, so be like the water, okay, have your attention on your passion and goals. Any sea turtle can uh, overcome obstacles from the size of a shrimp to the size of a blue whale. So the things that I want to speak about in this particular chapter the most is the conversation he has with the crocodile. Okay. So the golden, before he gets to the crocodile, the golden rule that he says is treat others the same way you want to be treated. And I'll tell you this. Once I started to apply this into my life, my relationships became better, okay? I started treating other people the way I wanted to be treated. You see, some people get mistreated and then they, they don't understand why they're getting mistreated. Well, maybe it's because you was mistreating other people, but you don't like it when it comes back around, right? So when you're about to do something or say something, remember this, would you want that to be said to you? Right? Would you want that to be done to you? So treat others the same way you want to be treated is the golden rule. And he almost got eaten. So I'll tell you this right now. I'll tell you. When I was writing this book, in particular in this chapter, the monkey got eaten. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be real. I thought it was going to be funny. But then I was like, you know what? What if a little kid reads this? What if a little kid watches this? I didn't want to be that. Um, visual. Right. So I made the monkey run away. So uh, the crocodile comes out and he's learned from his mistakes before. So he's not eating the sea turtle because he already bit a sea turtle before and he lost several teeth. So why is he going to do it again? Right? He learned from his mistakes. See, he failed the first time he bit the sea turtle. And he wasn't going to fail again. So when you fail, learn from your mistakes. See, when I lose a soccer game, I don't even lose. I'm learning what we did wrong as a team. So we can become better. So from every loss, 
It's a lesson to be learned to win. Okay, we're all winners. Even if you lose, I'm still a winner because I'm learning from my mistakes. Okay, so um, he goes, he speaks to Newton. So I chose Newton and, and I chose the name because Isaac Newton. He discovered the law of gravity. He discovered also the law of action. For every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. And that's why, I, that's why I made the chapter action, reaction. So, um, ready? Crocodiles emit a vibration. And when they emit a vibration, it's it, on their back, they, they groan and it emits a vibration. And that vibration makes them sprinkle um, water. And it looks like this food. So when a, when a bird comes, they eat it. So for every action, there's an opposite reaction. So I just want to emphasize that. Also, from every action that we do, there's an opposite and equal reaction. So the thoughts that you have, that you send out, there's an opposite and equal reaction. So if I think of failing, I'm going to fail. Okay? I, Here's the thing. I've I've been studying Bob Proctor, and if you haven't learned from Bob Proctor, please go learn and Google Bob Proctor, and he speaks about vibrations and frequencies. And here's the thing, ready? So, we have understood feelings, and this, and this is me trying to obviously teach what I've been learning. Um, when we feel something, it's our body in a going through a vibration. See, our body is moving at a very high rate of vibration that creates this, okay? So, if, if I'm feeling something, it's a certain frequency that's coming to me, so I understand I'm happy, I'm enjoying, I'm enthusiastic. It's a frequency that I'm feeling, and I'm vibrating at a high frequency. When I'm enthusiastic, when I come to someone, or when you hear me speak, you can feel it, okay? So it's a vibration that my body's going through that is being emitted into this energy, okay? And so, over here is, over the years living in the kennel, I have been observant of my surroundings. I have found that all creatures of life go through emotions also referred as feelings. Feelings are actual different forms of vibration that the body experiences. From these vibrations, you can also indicate what you attract in your life. So, if you're vibrating at different frequencies, they also go through different effects of their energy. Here's what I, this is what I mean by that. For example, your feelings of enthusiasm and joy will attract the results of success, okay? If you are feeling sad or fearful, your body's vibration is at the same frequency as failure and downfall. Okay, so when you do fail, be enthusiastic about it because when you're enthusiastic, just know the next attempt might be that success that you're looking for. But if you go failing with the mentality that you're gonna fail again with a vibration of feeling that you're gonna fail again, guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna fail. And I'll give you, a, I'll give you another example. When I was knocking doors, um, when, I, when I had a door slammed in my face, right? I was feeling not good about myself. And I brought that to the next door. And I kept on doing it, kept on doing it. Some days, I had so many doors slammed in my face because I was in the zone. I wasn't in that energy. I wasn't, they were, like, here's the thing. When you, when you meet someone and they're vibrating at a negative energy, you can tell, you, it's all about vibes. You can tell about vibes. You might not like me. My vibe might not be your vibe. And it's cool. But when you meet someone, you, you can feel their vibes. And that's what I'm talking about. We're talking about vibes here. Vibrations, vibes. So what do you want out of life? And start thinking in that frequency. And when you start beginning to think in that frequency, you start attracting that which you want, right? Um, boom, boom, boom. Okay? By doing so, I keep myself in check and protect my thoughts just like how, I, how my shell protects my body. So if you're... It, it, um, I've, I've, uh, I remember saying this multiple times. You're able to control the thoughts that you have. You're able to entertain certain thoughts. So remember, protect yourself from uh, the thoughts that you don't want to 
come in. So, for example, I have people speaking to me about negative things. The news, so negative. Oh, there's nothing positive coming from the news. So I don't watch the news. I haven't owned a TV in the last four years because there's nothing positive coming out. The only time I watch TV, Super Bowl, FIFA World Cup, basketball finals, sport events. That's all I do. If not, I'm not watching TV. I'm reading a book or watching good podcasts, Gary V, um, Anthony Robbins, um, movies that expand my mind, like Lucy. Um, so I only watch yourself. Watch the thoughts that you entertain. Control the, the, the thoughts that you have in your mind. So when you have a bad thought, just redirect it. Be like, you know what? Nope, I don't want to think about that. I want to think about this. Okay? Let's move on. Energy is everywhere around the sea turtle. It is a vital that his thought patterns match the vibration of the energy around them. That's what, this is, again, talking about vibrations, the vibes. So when you walk into a room, right, and you got all that. You... Perfect example. Are you the life of the party, right? So, I'll be in, like, I like to be the life of the party. When I go to the party and there's no one dancing and, it, and it's bumping music, I'm going to dance. I'm the life of the party. You be the party. Don't let the party be the party. You're the party. That's what I mean by there's energy all around us. What, what, and it, what, what are you, how are you transforming that energy around you? How are you carrying yourself? How are you showing up is what I'm trying to say. How are you showing up? Are you showing up to work with a, a hop in your step? Or are you, are you showing up to work with a drag? How do you think that a day is going to... It's going to be a drag the whole day. But if you're, if you're going to work enthusiastic about it, the day is going to go like this because you're having fun. That's the vibe you're bringing. That's the vibration you're in. That's the energy that's around you. It's all about having fun or about being negative. Personally, I cut off the negative things all the time. If I notice something... That I'm, so, perfect example. The other, like, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, a month ago, I was having a mental breakdown. Let's just keep it real. Um, just because I am motivated and positive. I sometimes talk, my self-talk, 85% of self-talk is negative. So, I'm trying to flip that, okay? So, I was talking to myself negative. And I was like, dude, what is wrong? So, what did I do? Took myself out of the situation. Took a nap. When I woke up, I felt great. And I just started feeding my mind positivity. So here's the thing. See, what we've learned to do is we've, when, we got, we, when we get hungry physically, we go feed ourselves. But we forget to mentally feed our minds. See, our mind is hungry. It's hungry. And it feeds off of people, feeds off our ideas, it feeds off of television, it feeds off of books. What are you feeding your mind? Are you feeding it junk food or are you feeding it healthy stuff? Junk food is all that negative, all those opinions, all, all, all the bad things. Healthy food is healthy. It's good for you. It's good positive thoughts, affirmations, books, wisdom, knowledge, music. So what are you feeding your mind? Think about that. Are you feeding junk food? Because when, when I eat junk food, I feel nasty. I haven't ate junk food in a couple of years, and I feel great. I just eat home-cooked home cooked meals or authentic food from restaurants, right? But when I feed junk food, no offense to McDonald's, but they're not putting a lot of effort in there, right? For example, like the last video, I don't know what video I said, microwave food, oven food. What are you feeding yourself? What are you feeding your mind? And here's the cool thing. Your, your body gets physical, it, it gets full. At one point, you get... Uh, your, turkey's coming around, right? Uh, it's Thanksgiving, you eat, 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 and then you put yourself in a coma, a food coma. Oh, I feel so full. I'm so full. Oh, but here's the cool thing. Your mind does, can cannot get full. It can keep receiving. It'll never get, it's infinite, right? It makes thousands of connections. So ask yourself, what are you feeding? What are the vibrations that your mind's creating around you? What are the people that you surround yourself with too? That's a very important. The, the people you hang around with determines the energy you're in. Okay? So, uh, ah, this is one of my favorite quotes. In the, um, one of my favorite quotes that I write in there. It goes, the sea turtle mindset acknowledges that the bottom of the river is like the past. It is the muck that has been settled. The past is gone. It's, it's, in, the, it's in the past. 
if you choose to swim down through the muck, it causes your vision to be blurred. So if, you, if you're just thinking about the past, that's all you have, your mind is clouded with past things that already have happened, okay? Nori understands you have to let the muck settle at the bottom and let go of the idea of swimming through it. Just let go of it. Let go of the past. It's gone. It cannot be revived. It's dead. It's done. It's over. Over. Okay? Choose to swim above in the present. You have the choice to be in the now. Choose to be in the now. And your vision of the future will be clear. Vision. See, some people have eyes to see, but don't have vision. Some people are blind, but they have vision. What's your vision of your life? Ask yourself this question. What are your dreams? What are your goals? Where do you see yourself five years from now? Where do you see yourself 10 years from now? You have to have vision. Those without vision will perish. Trust me, you have to have vision. And sometimes you have to have tunnel vision because you have to focus. You have distraction, you have shiny um, syndrome, right? Oh, something shiny, oh, no, focus. Vision. What's your vision? What's your vision? What's your vision? See, some, te some people get stuck because they, they think about who they're not instead of, what they, of who they're becoming. You get stuck of who you're not. Stop it. It's cool. You're, it's fine. You're not there yet. That's why it's called the journey. Okay? It's about who you're becoming. Okay? But you have to be willing to sacrifice who you are to become who you want to be. Okay. Um, the sea turtle would be disappointed by the things he or she did. No, the sea turtle would be more disappointed by the things he or she he or she did not do than the things by he or she did not do. So, for example, if you want to travel to Paris, okay, and you did not do that in your time in in, in your lifetime, you'd be more disappointed of that than when you travel to a different part. So don't allow yourself to be doing that. Explore, dream, discover. The world is like a book. Those who don't read, now those who only read one page, is only one location. The world's like a book. The more pages you read, the more places you'll go. Okay, don't read one page, read multiple pages. Trust me, it's amazing out there. Let's go, hit me up, I'm down to go with you. Leave your comments below if, you, if something has triggered, if something has sparked. Remember, leave your comments. I want to interact with you, okay? I want to hear your wisdom, okay? So, that's it. Have that sea turtle mindset. This chapter was very, again, you have to read it twice. I've, I have to read it twice sometimes. Like, damn, this is some good stuff right here. Like, I've surprised myself. I really have. And I'm just blessed that I'm here spreading the wisdom. Um... Subscribe. I have more videos to come. Um, I also have a Facebook page, personal Facebook page. Friend me. Send me some messages. I'm always willing to network with you, interact, connect. Um, Facebook, Sea Turtle Mindset page. Also follow the Instagram page, Motivational Content. If you want a t-shirt with the crocodile on it, go get it. Um, I also, like in the last video, I'm working on getting you PDFs. So you can just post these little things. You can just print them out, post them on your page, and remember... For every action, this opposite and equal reaction. Guys, we're almost done with the book. I'm excited. We're in chapter two, Imagination with Albert the Oracle Whale. I'll see you in the next video. Go read that chapter. Talk to you soon. Congratulations on reading chapter three. We're almost done with the book. Let's get it. The next chapter is imagination. Just before you leave, subscribe down here so you can see more future wisdom videos. Spread the wisdom and I'll see you in the next chapter.